All right. Are we recording? I so pale. What is, what is happening? <laughs> what is this? Oh, sorry. I've been listening to that for the last week on loop. I don't. I didn't hear a thing. All oh, I saw was you dancing. You couldn't hear it. <laughs> no, I think it's better without music, dude. That's so funny. We're making popcorn here. Um, I've been walking on sunshine for the last week. Uh, maybe, oh my God. maybe it'll play through on the on the uh, on, on the playback. I hope but, not, because just you like dancing, <laughs> no music. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, dude. Uh, that's oh funny. my God. Um. So anyways, uh, how are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling like shit, Brian. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know what to say. We were talking a little off camera. It's been a long day, week, month here. I haven't had two days in a row off all month. Uh, my team is O for the month. My team sucks. Uh, we'll get in a little bit more into that later, but uh, otherwise, uh, I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're just like more and more like a shell of yourself week by week yeah <laughs> see this goofy ass grin on my face that's all bullshit that's the one i use at work all the time <laughs> having a good uh, time and uh, i know you did tell me off camera that like rosie's asking why you're so upset and you know you had a long day at work you had to find the halloween costumes and now you gotta do this effing podcast my team's in dead last and she's like <laughs> actually and i didn't tell you this but she was like why don't you you don't have to do it i was like no nah, i promised i would and besides maddie won't show up anyway exactly can't make brian do it by himself so here i am well thank you um yeah i'm doing as you would imagine i'm doing the exact opposite of you um doing fantastic you know just feeling life you know just when you're six and one, everything's like you're looking through rose colored glasses, you know? The sunshine and birds yeah. are chirping yes. all the time in the morning. Yeah. You're like, it's a great, <laughs> ah, it's a great day to be alive. Let's get out there and be our best up. Your kids are probably loving it at school. They're like, man, yeah. Mr. Volch goes awesome this Why year. I heard he's so a dick. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're tripping kids Every... at the checkout line. <laughs> <laughs> like mr Volchkos gave, gave me an a plus i didn't even put any answers down it's wild uh yeah it's tough. It, Travis Kelsey. I, I really just kind of like divorced myself from fantasy football because it's it's too much i mean Painful. i go out there it's uh so i go on my lunch break on sunday yeah. and for the first time i'm about to check my team and i know i got deshaun going um <laughs> And somebody else, I think Elijah Moore, maybe, or maybe not, but somebody, anyway. Sure. Oh, Jameer Gibbs was going, but he started off shitty. Anyway, I look at my team, I'm like, eight points. It's 2.30, dude. What do you mean, eight points? <laughs> it's an hour. <laughs> Honestly, dude, and I was just like, well, that's about right. Fuck it. Cool. Well, this Sunday's over. And then I just went about my day like a normal human that wasn't in a fantasy league. And wasn't in dead last place and didn't suck dick for beer change outside the bar. And, you know, life's good. I, I can't complain. I got a beautiful family, beautiful dog. <laughs> it's bad when you have to look at the big picture. Yeah, I mean, I, just like, Maggie, can I see your cans, babe, please? It's I mean, been a long day. Just, no I idea. just motorboat them for a little while. And she's like, sure, babe. Give them a little motorboat. <laughs> it always cheers me up brian it always cheers me up to motorboat maggie brian and uh these are the things i gotta cling to because god damn it dude oh, it's, it's rough every decision i've made is a horrible one every player i picked up sucks even look at gabe dave i traded him uh to getting gritty the yeah, guys had gritty. two catches for 11 yards since i traded him he's probably like i'm never trading this fucker again right well i mean i mean it kind of worked out for you right yeah but uh, i'm sure it'll bite me later on but yeah no it's 
It's as you can imagine, dude. Uh, hey, later on, we'll look at what Yahoo has you projected at. We'll see what your record's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be seven and seven. Seven and seven. <laughs> uh, seventh place. Uh, Probably. Fuck Yahoo. Fuck projections. Nobody knows shit. No. Fuck, fuck no. everybody in the league. That's not you, Brian. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm all in on the hillbillies this year. <laughs> <laughs> I would be the same way. It's just, it's so bizarre. It's, it just so bizarre that we're in complete polar opposites of each other we're a mirror image of each other of, of each other you know um and I, we've been there craig uh i know you didn't listen to any of his recap but he said um i bet you right now disco's feeling exactly how i felt last year and he's probably right he's probably it's right dark place yeah it's not fun gags yeah. gags is there too he's three and four but he's kind of feeling the same way now um, he uh <laughs> actually messaged me this week um and said something like dude we're fucking taking on the chin or something like that yeah yeah and i i didn't even know what to say to that. i was like i don't know what to say other than it's probably because we're so good looking i mean <laughs> uh gags and i are two of the best looking people in the in the league who's, I who's mean, gonna argue and, with that and nobody and uh yeah. Yeah, they're taking it out on. I didn't. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know why you're in first because you're dashing as fuck. But thank you. Thank I, you. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, but, I, yeah. Well, I'm glad you. Yeah, you pointed that out because otherwise, after I, if I was watching this back, I'd be like, wait, what does that mean about first and second place? Because <laughs> that's me and Craig. <laughs> well, you know, like, well, if I'm maybe we'll uh, maybe at some point we'll rank everybody by looks. Oh, there um, you go. Yeah. Well, or just by the point system, because, you know, of course, uh, you play guitar. I play yeah. guitar. That's an extra point right there. Oh, um, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, this is definitely not a homophobic podcast. I love it. Yeah, definitely yeah. not. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I think everybody in the league is pretty good looking. Um, at least, a, from, at least uh, a little bit gay, right? It's a little gay, but, you know. I'm saying everyone in the league is probably a little bit gay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they still play in this league, right? <laughs> Zach might be straight as an arrow, and this might be a one and done for him. And he's like, do these queers because uh, they're making me feel uncomfortable every week. But nobody would know because I even gave him a shout out, told him to speak up and chat, and he didn't. Dude, he's he's speaking through trades. That's what he's doing. He's speaking. Yeah, through he trades. is. Oh. Well, that's that's well, that's something I was looking forward to this week. We get to do uh, our trade time thing um that we never get to do so that'll be fun yeah, um yeah. but yeah it's a weird year uh i really think i can run the table and make the playoffs but that's not gonna happen but you know it's at least it's possible and uh right. this is the thing that keeps yeah. me coming back i'm still gonna put it in a lineup exactly. try my hardest you're not mathematically eliminated you know i so... saw you're still making moves. You're still you're still out there. You're not you're not dead. I'm, I'm a good trier, Brian. That's, right. That's what my mom said. You're a good trier, Rick. <laughs> um, my unfinished business this week is with Kabisic. Um, it's kind of just comical. Again, you didn't watch the recap, but um, two points that um, I don't know if he's trying to give us material or not, but he has no idea that all teams are playing this week. He there are no buys this week, which at first I didn't know, but I just heard it somewhere. And he's looking at all the matchups this week, and he's like, huh, look at that. Disco doesn't have any bye week problems. Huh, look at that. Hillbilly's no bye week problems. I'm like, he goes through every team. <laughs> no bye. He never figured it out. <laughs> oh, that's news to me, Brian. I did not know that, actually. He did not either. But I think going through lineups, he would have figured it out. Sure. He never did. And yeah, never in my did. defense, I'd never look at a lineup. <laughs> till sunday morning yeah or, well i gotta make sure i don't have a guy going thursday and then yeah. otherwise i'd shut it down um so that that was comical seeing him not know the fact that everyone's playing um and then the other part that was hilarious is that he got everybody excited that he was gonna like tear you a new one on his recap and um not only did he not do that for some reason he kept pumping it up he's like oh we could just say anything about this guy and it was like on the edge of my seat what's he gonna say what's he gonna say and then nothing just no silence and then he doesn't refer to your team as aids he refers to your team as aids oh yeah well should i not capitalize the ids uh, i was thinking about maybe. that when i was changing the name maybe, maybe he thought it, he was 
joking and thought it was an acronym. I don't know. Well, I think it is an acronym for like well, yeah. anti-immune. Right, right, true. So, but maybe he thought it was like some kind of fantasy football acronym or something. I don't, I don't know. Does he not know what AIDS is? He was... I don't know, but he he, def- he definitely just kept saying AIDS. I don't like it, Brian. Uh, yeah. That's my first piece of unfinished business. Is that a... <laughs> Dude, call me AIDS because I am AIDS. <laughs> my team is AIDS. Like the personification of AIDS. Like if AIDS was a fantasy team. They'd look like mine, and we'll get into that later. Um, yeah. Unfinished business. Hmm. Uh, the only unfinished business I have is with you, Deshaun Watson, you motherfucking piece of shit. Like, just go out there and not play. All I needed to beat Gags from my QB was 30, 30 points. That's yeah. it. He comes out there and gets negative 1.75, Brian. Wow. And I was... Uh, Actually, it would have been a really fun game to watch because had he not played, I was going to get uh, Desmond Ritter from Atlanta because I thought it would be kind of cute and it, because mm-hmm. he sucks so bad. Mm-hmm. Um, but he'd have brought me home, dude. Yeah, uh, that, that would have brought you the win. Yeah, and so uh, fuck you, you big pussy. I was way off on I just I hope they trade for Jacoby Brissett from Washington and get him back. Yeah. Because I think with their defense, dude, anybody that's not Watson can get him to the playoffs. Uh, he's a, I cannot believe he's making all that money to suck that much dick, and he really cost me. And uh, I get what I deserve by taking him in the seventh, but I just fucking hate him, dude. And cutting him felt so good. I cut him from my team, cut him from my life. We don't text anymore. No more <laughs> calls, nothing. It's life. over. So that's it. That's all my unfinished business. Like, don't be a yeah. pussy. You know, he clears concussion protocol and everything. Yeah. And I, I guarantee you, he's like, oh, I'm just not feeling it, man. My, my shoulder, you know. I dude. think he's just a big pussy that's afraid to go out there and get hit. Period. It seems like it. And, he, dude, he's getting paid to get hit. He's getting paid to get concussions. He's getting paid to get CTE. Like, that's uh, what he's getting paid for. It's so, so sick. We should be doing he's... studios on his brain in a few years. So that's the kind <laughs> of money he's getting. And then he got away with all that rubbing his dick all over yeah. everybody for yeah. years and he just i don't know he looks wor- so much worse than he ever did in houston it's 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 incredible yeah you know? it's like you got paid and he's just done i'm just the anti-quarterback i went with russ last year went with him this year and it's like it's Dude, you're gonna take you're gonna take patrick mahomes first round next yeah no year. no because then it'll be half point oh. PPR next year. yeah that's true that's true <laughs> so but yeah, you know, all that said, that's it. That's all I got to say is I just I'm really disappointed. Uh, <laughs> it was really strange because he he gets negative and then Jerome Ford just goes up and binks me like in the first play. <laughs> I was like, fucking my own team. But I was glad the Browns came back and won. I know the refs had a lot to do with that. If you watched any of that, that I was did. total horseshit. If I was a Colts fan, I'd be puking. But yes. hey, yeah. we're four and two. Miles Garrett, dude, MVP candidate, dude. Yeah, he's he's doing amazing. He's doing the amazing team. He, and then he even jumped the line and blocked that kick. I mean, this guy's a beast, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, that's it. What's that's your take? That. What's your take on um, Bijan? You know, having the headache. Like it feels like it's a, similar to Deshaun, where Deshaun's like cleared to play, but he's just choosing not to. Like, seems like a similar situation with Bijan. As like, I think it's, that, it's like they're soft. That or like Bijan got COVID or something because you know. COVID was going around our area for a little while and everybody's getting lightheaded and dizzy and shit. Um, yeah. I might've had it for the third time. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. either that or he was fucking hung over or I, I don't know, but then, you know, I didn't see anymore. I saw that they were going to look into, you know, because that affects the books, the bookies, all that oh, shit. For sure. I mean, yeah. they're, they're like, Oh, it violates the, uh, you know, the injury report bullshit. Uh-huh. But, as though they care if there wasn't right. billions of dollars riding on these bets every week. So yeah, sucks sucks for Crick. I think Bijan will just probably come back and tear it up. Uh, he probably well, will. Do you think that Crick seriously got rid of him because of that? Like, or do or do you think it was like a play that he just he's been looking to get Jess Jeff for a while? That I don't know. You'd have to ask him. I think um, we we can get into it at trade time. Yeah, I I don't think that. There's nothing to hate about Bijan. I mean, yeah. look at his numbers. He's, the guy's been pretty steady, near 20 every game. So Super sexy. 
yeah i thought that uh, yeah that'll be fun to look at that trade because i want to talk about that a little bit more but yeah no i don't know some of these guys <laughs> are just puss puss you, you really hate to see that in a full contact sport where you know i mean what don't be a pussy that's totally what it feels like too especially when it's like dude you're making that money that you've always wanted you've made it yep. who cares if you get your leg broken or knocked off duty just go out there and give it all give it your all i don't know we'll see all right let's get in let's get into it here um oh, that's weird hold on a second let me scroll down here like it's like wait a second it's like the my background is actually on my screen it's like <laughs> it's so weird <laughs> how'd that happen i don't know just out of curiosity though like is is my background backwards no no okay. you're good because on, on my screen yeah, no, it looks good. backwards okay yeah it looks all good uh yeah i will say this dude uh look you're back you're you're back dude your team yeah. came out knocked the shit out of your opponent this week yeah. i forget who you're playing but Dude, you're up above 1,200. You're in the top six of scoring now. People can kind of get off your case. A I agree. Bit. It's a little more legit. It's a yeah. little bit more. I mean, that one game where I beat Gags and we both barely got 100. Like, yeah, nobody deserves it. say the same game. thing about Gags beating yeah. me, dude. Like, exactly. <laughs> and yeah. I will say this. I have to say this. Um, How the fuck do you not score 100, dude? I <laughs> scored 118 and my quarterback had negative <laughs> points. And I looked at his... uh. Scoring that week, yeah. Tua had 40 and Godwin had 60. So the rest of his team could not get 40 points. How sick is that? Yeah, uh, that's really bad. Uh, when you've yeah. got PPC, PPR, you can't yeah. get <laughs> I mean, you, my court, my team got a buck 20 without my quarterback, 118 with my quarterback. <laughs> like, I just don't know how you score under 100. I think that's pretty gross. But, yeah, Gags had a gross win this week. I'll say that. For sure. Um, Craig thinks, he's not sure, but in the recap, he said he thinks that this is the first time that a quarterback has ever scored negative points in a game. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's probably likely. Dude, it's the thing I always dream about going into fantasy. I'm like, you know what would be ideal? Is if, like, Patrick Mahomes this week at Denver goes out, throws a pick, and gets hurt on the first play. <laughs> That's right. I mean, that's Kevin Beanism, dude. That's the thing that Kevin Bean dreams about <laughs> actually happened to me, dude. And I think it's awesome. I, I'll gladly carry that torch forever, dude. <laughs> it's good. so true. It's so true. People want that to happen. All of the course, time. you do. That is like the dream scenario because then yeah. it's like a free win. I mean, and then you don't have to worry. And let's face it, I mean, we all worry about our team. And of whatever. course. <laughs> And whenever you see, you know, when you see, it's like the first play of the game when your quarterback goes down. But you know, I lo I love the fact that we don't do the backup quarterback points. Like that was we used to do that, and I hated it. You know, it's like if your quarterback gets hurt, he gets hurt. Period. It's over. Yeah. You don't get. The I mean, ask me about it, and that's two wins for Cags, yeah. where the quarterback got like you that's know right. less than three points or something. <laughs> when it's all it took, like Tree needed forty, I needed thirty. And Gags is talking about being unlucky. Like, dude, he should be one and six. Easy. I mean, and you could see his scoring. It's, he doesn't even have a thousand yet. Poor guy. It's because he's so good looking. Like I said. There's a direct correlation to his sexy looks and his low score. <laughs> he's just charming, dude. That's why he's able to get the trades that he usually gets, dude, is because you think about his pouty face dude and being like yeah. please trade me this and you're like all right you handsome bella you i'll <laughs> trade him to you whatever you want all right let's talk about these trannies real quick we just got let's get two. into these trannies let's get into these trannies every thursday night um first one off right off the bat Taysom hill possum wanted him for zero dub c said no 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 21 AIDS came in at 27. Come on, call him his proper name, <laughs> Ryan. AIDS. Full blown, full blown Z's, one for 27. <gasps> I, I originally had, I think, a $31 bet, and then I was like, screw it. I kind of won him, so I go 51. 31 would have worked, but I got him for 51. What? I mean, you don't have to explain to me why you wanted him, Brian, because I was the second place bidder. I would have yes. won if it weren't for you. Yes. Um, 
Okay. Although I will say, and we talked about this earlier in the year, that sometimes you don't want him when you go to bed, and that that's kind of how I felt. So I was happy in a way to he's not a good, get him. He's a good bench guy, but you just never know what you're going to get. Exactly, like, and it's get like get I already three, got you a get scrub three. like Logan Thomas and a scrub like Gerald Everett. Do yeah. I really want another scrub? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's completely seems like it's game dependent, you know, game flow dependent. Well, and Jawan Johnson's calf has yeah. been a lot to do with it too. But that said, I mean, the guy's, you know, now he's running routes like a mofo, you know, in yeah. the last couple of weeks, he's got 11 grabs for about a hundred. So, you know, when you, when tight end is such a tough position to get a good guy, um, I think it's great for you just in case something happens to Kelsey, at least, sure. you know, you, you might run one in or throw a couple of passes or something. So yeah. I think it's a good pickup for you, dude. Let me ask you a question. Was he a tight end the entire year or was he? Yeah. I don't know if he was they got sick of that shit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Which I totally get. Yeah. They don't like the dual citizenship as much as they used to. So, uh, which I think um, I'm watching a game on. Oh, I didn't see who scored that. I'm yeah, sure I, it was Mike I, I Evans. I didn't see. Oh, it was Godwin. He's on fire tonight. Um, Good boy. I think I'm watching a Canadian station because they had this toilet paper commercial and it was like, uh, I forget, ah, oh, damn it, I forget the name of it, but it was like Charlemagne, Canada's nice. number one bath tissue. <laughs> I was like, what? They don't have charm in there. It's a, it's a whole different thing, but it sounded way cooler. And then I also saw a commercial that was like bringing Las Vegas to Ontario. So, what are you, what are you watching it on? Just like a random like stream? Uh, it's actually been suggested was suggested by Josh a couple of years ago. Oh, it's called yeah. Bila Sport, B I L A Sport. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can watch anything on there, and um, and then, I don't know. It's, it's all right. I mean, you're about two minutes behind, but yeah. otherwise, it's who cares? Yeah, it works yeah. out. It's cool. You got a nice Canadian feed. <laughs> I watch the game in Spanish. I don't give a shit, dude. I don't <laughs> need. You know, just, <laughs> I know what's going on. All right, then the other tranny of the week, we had uh, the Los Angeles defense. Getting Gritty said, I don't have any money, but I, well, no, Getting Gritty does. I was thinking of possum. Didn't really want to put any money on it, and I uh, thought he'd steal it. And uh, Biscuit said, no, I want to stream them this week. I assume they're playing somebody tasty. Yeah, they're playing uh, bad, bad, Badgett in Chicago, I think. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, That's so crazy. That, uh, that is actually crazy. It could be. So... They could feast. Yeah, I mean, if we're ranking these, uh, I got. I think I would give it to. Uh, I mean, just for this week, I'd give it to um, Jimmy there. Jimmy, just yeah, on, on value, up. good value. Yeah, but I, I like your pickup too. Again, uh, not a bad guy to have on the bench, and I know Kevin Bean would love to have him on the bench. He oh. even tried for him. Uh, yeah, and we'll talk about this later. Uh, I said he had the worst bench in the league, but uh, I think there might be a new candidate for that. We'll get into it later. Interesting. Can't wait. Can't wait. We'll get that in the matchups. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, what have we got? Uh, um, Maddie's guy, Jaden Reed. Yeah. 26 bucks Which, to, to the Wizard. Did you see his touchdown catch against Denver? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that was gross. Uh, mm -hmm. It was. Absolutely. It was uh, Romeo Dobbs with the assist on that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It was a crazy play, but it worked. Um, yeah. And I like this pickup too. Trey McBride is good. Uh, Zach Ertz just went on IR, and yeah. Kid Gritty owns Zach Ertz even. So nice backup, yeah. Yeah, the fact that it took him all the way until six because I thought about grabbing this guy too. But again, how many scrubs tight ends can you have, Brian? And then yeah, he waited until six p.m. But it got him for free. So Still got him. Good. Yeah, so everything except for Craig's 26 beans on Jaden Reed look good to me, dude. Um, oh, wait, do you see below Green Bay where, where it says cut from AIDS? I do. That yeah. might be the transaction of the that week. That might man. be. I'm sure that <laughs> felt so good to cut him free. Oh, never again will I ever fuck around with a guy like that. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good. And it might be, the, you know, removing the cancerous tumor that gets – AIDS slash disco back into the <laughs> Hey, I hope I hope so for your sake. All right. I'm, you ready for some trade time? I'm always ready, man. <laughs> trade, trade time. time. <laughs> <laughs>
Trade, trade time. time. Trade time. Guys. Excellent. Nice. All right. A little reverb on yours. Yeah. I had the wah wah pedal going. Nice, dude. I do love to like uh, crank the distortion when I'm playing on electric. I think you know I only have three acoustics. I don't yes, have an electric yes, guitar, yes. but when I have one in my hands, dude, I love to kick that distortion and just start <laughs> ripping some like minor pentatonic blues shit. You know, it's fun. <laughs> uh but yeah okay well okay for this trade brian we've got our main man look where like i said in the line where would we be without zach we would have zero trades zero all right for and this is week eight i mean the yeah. trading deadline's coming up so yeah yeah i handed to zach we're pulling the trigger on some of these moves we love it keep them yep. coming you got three more um this time brian what do we got this time we've got um trading from biscuits and porn Chris Olave and Bijan Robinson going to over to getting gritty. He traded away just Jeff and Javante Williams. Woo! Couldn't believe yeah, the number one pick, the guy you've pined over the entire summer of 2023. Um, he's, he's picked up his bags and he's heading to uh, sinking Springs. If I'm getting that correct. I believe you are Brian yeah. and uh, sinking Springs is a nice town. Um Yeah. Love it's them. never been bad yeah it's been good to me uh the whole one time i was there but uh, <laughs> i think just jeff will like it there um how long is this trade, trade? so this so olave is um this fill me in i have to plead ignorance on his uh disorderly driving or whatever oh yeah uh let's see here it was just reckless driving he was doing a 70 and a 35 basically uh, okay yeah, I don't think he was under the influence uh, that I'm aware of, but yeah, 70 and 35. It sounds to me like he's not going to get anything. Maybe later on in the season he might get a game or two, but right now they said he's going to play this week. Um, he's been he's been pretty for Chris Olave. He's been kind of invisible. You know, he's not, it's not been really himself. You you're hoping for 20 to 30 points a game from Chris Olave, and uh, he hasn't really been doing that. Not that he, not that he couldn't, but just hasn't. Without Michael Thomas there, you know, or without Michael Thomas getting hurt, I should say, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. a different story. Um, yeah. And, and you know, Derek Carr's a different quarterback, too. So, you know, you never know. Uh, so that was kind of a question mark going into this year is like, how is Carr and Olave's connection going to be? So uh, maybe they'll hash it out. Um, you know, how sometimes you're driving and it's like a 45 or a 50. Yeah, and they do sneak it down to 35, dude. dude and if he's really got a quick. rental or something, yeah. you know, like last ticket I got, I was driving back from uh golfing with my brother in law, and yeah. uh, I was driving his like new car. And dude, I got 70 and a 45 Oof. when I thought I was going like 60 top. Did I mean, you get any points on that? So smooth. Or, I might have, but I was yeah. 22 at the time. Oh, okay, so, okay. Yeah, it's all gone. Um, so, yeah, you can't really if you 70 and 35. Yeah, I mean, did you get suspended from your NFL team? No, I didn't. No, <laughs> in fact, I came out the next week and I think I had seven for 87 <laughs> and two touchies, so about 27 fantasies, dude. <laughs> so maybe that's what he's going to yeah, get. Yeah. Um, so as long as that's cool, uh, yeah, I don't. I think that I don't think you have to give up Javante Williams. Yeah. To make this trade happen. I so kind of agree. the only the only thing I'll say about that is that I think maybe he gave up. He could have given him any scrub running back he had. Yeah. Because uh, look at those numbers. I mean, he's just twenty seven a game every game. So. Wow, that's crazy. He's literally right? going around twenty seven. Yeah. In just a variety of ways, yeah. but always getting targeted in yards. And, what what week is he projected to come back? I guess 10. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. If he's on the IR for four, yeah. So not getting him to week 10. I mean, strange enough, that's like not next week, but the week after. So. Right. Right. I mean, yeah. It, it, I mean, I like the trade. I don't really have anything against the trade. I think it's relatively fair. I agree with you. I think you could have done just Jeff for Bijan and Chris Olave. Um, mm -hmm. Because Bijan, he has no keeper value. Chris Olave, I think it might be his last year. It feels like it is. I don't know. 
Yeah, he'd he it you'd be able to keep him in like oh, the, one more in one like more the year. seventh or something. Yeah. yeah. And then just Jeff, no keeper value. Yeah, I think it's a fair trade. Um, I honestly think getting gritty might end up getting the better end of this in in the long run. Well, I mean, you got to think about getting Grady's two and five. He yeah. needs wins now. Yeah. They can't wait on just Jeff. And I feel his pain because I have a chan and I would kill to have him back. Uh, so, yeah, dude, he's he's trying to make the playoffs, dude. And he knows that if he goes down the next two weeks, that's yeah, not very over. likely. So, yeah. So for those purposes and for the reasons we talked about, I'd say it's pretty equal trade as well. Uh, I can't give a winner because I think yeah. it's very even. I think it is too. Um, it's a little bit of a gamble on Crick's part because he's got to make sure that he can at least tread water, maybe go one and one until he actually gets just Jeff's services. Um, yeah. And then look, it, honestly, there's no guarantee he's coming back week 10. So yeah. is what they were saying. So that's the gamble part of it, I guess, but it's a, it's a gamble, but I think it's a gamble worth taking. Um, uh, certainly. And because if it does work out, then he's stacking Cousins and Jefferson. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they might. He's trying to go back to back, dude. And but yeah, that gives I wasn't him the sure. best chance to do it. I wasn't sure if he was four and three and three or or three and four. That's even more risky when you're three and four. Yeah, I, I'm happy to see that. Actually. Yeah, um, me too. Me too. No a, fence crick, but no, we don't want to see you back to back. Well, none taken, Brian. Because yeah. no, <laughs> fuck you, Jimmy. You got two <laughs> titles, and you just won last year. Nobody wants to see you win again. Nobody. That's right. Not even Sally, dude. She's moving the trophy on. Touching <laughs> <laughs> the trophy, beating your ass the other night in a fantasy. You decorating. <laughs> <laughs> she beat him in fantasy because Bijan's belly ache and yeah, no, good time. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Jimmy. You've won enough. Yeah. So I hope it doesn't work out, but it might. Yeah. You're good. Good trade though. Yeah, good trade. And um, like it's just weird. Like, is that literally like the third trade of the year? It is. I mean, seriously, by this time any other year, Gags has five trades by himself. So... Scroll down a little bit for me there, Brian. Yeah. Uh look at that 983, dude. That's Ooh. why Gags ain't trading. And, <laughs> dude, I think it wasn't just that. When Nick Chubb went down, Gagsy went down. <laughs> Dobbins has already gone down. Nick Chubb, I mean, you know how much. Yeah. What a boner I have for Nick oh, Chubb. Yeah. So, like, I had a Chubb for Chubb. Chubb for and, Chubb. And, uh, yeah, that was heartbreaking to any football fan, I think, that's not like a – even a Steelers fan is like, God, that sucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, you Absolutely. never want to see him. For sure. Mega star go down when he's having a... – God damn. It's just, it's just strange hurt, that, like, all of these teams have, like, four digits. Well, technically six if you're using, like, the hundreds place. And then you come down to Gags and he's only got – he's only in the hundreds place. You know, it's it's just <laughs> – no, and they, dude, everybody's got at least eleven hundred. No, except for Shawshank. My bad. Yeah. But sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah, he's Shawshank is quietly having one of the worst seasons I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get talked about because of the like he's kind of right there in the middle. He's three and four. He's won some games, but dude, it's gross. <laughs> dude, <laughs> we'll check I love, that out. I love like you could do your own little segment like from the basement where you just rip on other teams. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I should, dude. It would make it, I mean, it would make it more fun for me. Uh, yeah. It's rough down here, Brad. Right? I said this last week. It's cold. It's dark, yeah. man. I mean, Nobody wants to talk to you. That's yeah, why I'm AIDS, dude, because like <laughs> you see AIDS and you're just like, ooh. I, I don't know if I want to give you a firm handshake in case I, you know, get some of <laughs> those corpuscles underneath my fingernail. You know. uh, <laughs> That's and that's why we're AIDS. It's like, ooh, don't touch that. No, get away from no. him, honey. Don't Dude, touch that, him. That's that's why this <laughs> podcast is Zoom. We're not doing this in person. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh my god, I love it so much. I hate okay. it and love it, dude. It's fucking. I mean, dude. At some point, you just have to laugh at your stuff because it's. Just... <laughs> Yeah, just yeah. Think it yeah. Any better. and then you end up crying you don't know why you're crying yeah no it's 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 kind of fun in a weird way but yeah not, not winning a championship this year is gonna suck but at least i know it already you know yeah, at least you know your fate but it's still not fun because you, you still want to 
get into that playoff and have a chance. Yeah, I just hope I'm able to hurt some feelings on my way out. Oh yeah, yeah. Take some, take a couple guys down with you. Like, I know I'm playing Craig again. Oh. Um, I got to get revenge on uh, Josh. I think beat me. I, yeah. I forget, dude. This is how much I give a fuck. Dude. I, know, but, I don't even but know I, who I'm playing. I dude. can't remember who did you beat again. Uh, I beat the Wizard of Winter. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, the guy from the Tuesday night thing. <laughs> For those of you at home and Mike Fuck holding the ground Blanchard uh, at home watching um, and all you ladies out there. Yeah, that's who I fucking beat. And I beat him bad, too. I beat him with 30. It was, wasn't even close, dude. I believe that was his first loss ever. Of all time. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah no, right. that was a good win. Who do we want to save for our matchup of the week? Um, Let's have a look. Where's Maddie, Maddie at? Maddie is... She... Oh, okay. So this is going to be hard because I did yeah. see Craig said yeah. that everybody in the top six is playing everybody in the bottom six. Correct. Correct. So, I mean, the closest thing we have to like competitive would be, I guess, three versus seven, maybe. Maybe seven is adds up to 10 and everything else is more than that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Well, yeah. Okay. So Dub C went for like 220 or something this week and you always know when Dub C is beating someone's ass because you hear all, even when their kicker makes one, you know. Oh, I know. Dude, this guy makes a 5.50 yarder and it's like four lines of text about it. <laughs> it's like, it's funny. It's just funny yeah. because it's like, where the fuck were you when you suck, dude? Yeah. Nowhere. Mm-hmm. That's where. So, yeah, like, we could do that one. Jimmy, right. maybe Kevin. We'll see. Let's see. Um... Well, well Detling said he's coming tonight, so we'll see. We'll save his matchup. Yeah, let's get mine out of the way, dude. All right, let's let's, do... So we can get as far away from AIDS as possible, man. Yes, absolutely. All right, I'll take this first matchup of the week. We have AIDS, Danny AIDS. Look at him. He has no idea how bad he has AIDS. It's, he still has hope in his eyes. <laughs> It's so sad. And then he's going up against Ed Logger, who's four and three, sitting in fifth place with a respectable team. Um, thankfully for AIDS, we've it's so weird just saying AIDS in as a as a noun. <laughs> AIDS has Joe Burrow back from the bye. He's rested up. Unfortunately, he's playing against San Fran. And Patty Mahomes has Denver. Like this doesn't seem fair at all. <laughs> but neither is AIDS. So <laughs> I mean, I will say that Cousins look good against Sam Fran, but I'll give me a <laughs> I'm going to give it to Mahomes as well. <laughs> All right. And again, fresh off that by Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddell, and Marquise Brown going against Mike Evans, currently playing, not doing too hot. But again, his first half, we know how that goes. Zay Flowers and Scary Terry. Give me ads receivers, please. All right. I'm uh, I'm gonna take your receivers on the strength of Jamar, even though they're playing San Fran. Um did, did you hear what Craig had to say? I guess not. Um he said that if you had bet CMC to score a touchdown, I don't, I don't know if this was on his podcast on the recap or if it was on the on the lineup, but he's like, if you were done like a twenty dollar bet on McCaffrey to score a touchdown every week and then you just roll that over. I, he didn't say the exact number, but he's like, you'd be sitting on a nice sum of money because he scored a touchdown like what the last 15 games. Um, so, oh, yeah. Thankfully, Brian, I did make that wager and I am living fat and large. All right. Nice. Yeah. Job. It's about 27K right about now, but <laughs> I hedged a little bit. I took 20 out and I'm just going to roll with my 7K. Good. That's well done. Well done. Thanks. Um, so we got CMC and Jameer Gibbs. Uh, you got lo- you got to love your running backs, dude. Going against Mostert and Swift. I'm taking you by a mile. Uh, give me Ed's running backs, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but Montgomery is not looking like he's going to play. Jameer is getting a lot more touches. Oh, you got to love your running backs. All right. Logan Thomas is going up against Cole McKit. Cole Komet. Um, give me Komet, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll go with Komet as well on this one. And in the flex, we got Elijah Moore versus Devonte. That one's easy. We um, like when it's easy, Brian. We like it when it's Devonte. Devonte. And then we got in the kicking position. We've got Sanders versus McPherson. Jimmy Easy E. 
Easy E. McPherson. And then we got Indies D versus New Orleans or Miami at home versus New England. Give me Miami, Steve, please. Miami as well. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you took every single player on Ed's team. I did. Okay. Um, is that a strategic play or is that like from the heart? No, that's just life, Brian. Okay. Um, Best I don't. I don't know what to say. I. It doesn't really matter what I say because it's all fucking bullshit. It's AIDS. It's disco. They never win. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Something will happen bad, and I'll lose. Uh, and for all those reasons, I, I picked Ed's guys ten for ten. I believe Ed's gonna roll me up somewhere like two forty-five to about one thirty-nine, and have blow out of the week, Brian. <laughs> um. I'm not quite that pessimistic. I know, but I'm not in your shoes, so I completely understand. Um, I think I'm going to take Ed's team as well because, well, AIDS. Um, dude, you can't beat it. You can't beat AIDS. Dude, no. You actually have a magic Johnson, dude. And when you do, you <laughs> somehow beat AIDS because your Johnson is magic. I mean, how is that? How are we not living in a simulation, Brian, when those. <laughs> One of those two we things are. coincide yeah. so well. We How'd you we defeat AIDS? I have a mad. I'm. I am Magic Johnson. I have a Magic Johnson. I can put it anywhere I want, any glory hole in the world, and nothing will ever affect me, because my Johnson's magic. Um, and for all those reasons, yeah, let's pick Ed. Let's move on. Get away from AIDS. All right. Oh wait, wait, wait. While we're here, is this the bench? Um, I just wanted to show you the worst bench in the history of the league. Uh. On the left there. Uh, oh, on the left. My bad. Yeah. I thought you were going to say on the okay, right. Okay, so yeah. if you look at these guys, these scrubs that you've got there, aside from – forget about the guy in IR. He doesn't yeah. count. Uh, that's the worst bench I've ever seen. So apologies to you, Kevin. Uh, yeah. Um, out there, Brian. Everett. Everett's okay. Do you want to know why I picked up Dalvin Cook? Oh, <laughs> uh, why? Because, because I think he might get traded away from the Jets. He's all pissed off. And also – and I took a screenshot of this, which I could send to the lineup at some point. But he was on a buy last week and projected to get 0. 0.12 points. So even Yahoo's like, damn, this guy's so good that on his <laughs> bye week, he gets a yard and uh, a yard and a fifth. So I thought that was interesting. And that's why I used to training on him. That's, a, that's amazing. I love it that they actually gave him some positive points. Yeah, they oh. actually projected him to score on his bye week. That's that's incredible. So you know he scored, you know, I don't know what the equivalent of that is in real life. Like, did he get with a really hot lady that night? I mean, getting, gaining a yard and a fifth on your off day, that's unprecedented, right? That is, that is. I mean, he'd That'd be like you really reading good. papers when you're right. fucking sick at home, dude. Right, when I'm... <laughs> Without a computer, of course. They're right, exactly. <laughs> Which All is right. wild. Um, so yeah, good game, yeah, Ed. Uh, I I wish you nothing but the best. And I, I'm noticing that nobody's having any bye week blues. That's good. No bye week blues. Right. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure there'll be plenty in the other matchups <laughs> we've got coming up, Brian. So All right. Uh, All right, let's get my matchup out of the way since I've got my uh, kicker and uh, defense going. All right, my friend. In this next matchup, we have got. Our first place world champion of fantasy football. If the season ended right now, he'd walk away as the winner, world champ, undefeated, except for once. That's right. Hillbillies on PCP. Six and one in first, going up against our trading yes, trade guru, champ. the guru of getting gritty, the guy who's never spoke, the silent assassin, back to back, almost back and back, Zach. Uh, let's get right into it, Brian, at yes, quarterback. We've let's. got Lamar coming off a heater at Arizona, going up against Dak versus the Rams. Uh, give me Lamar. All give me, yeah, give me Lamar. I've been hearing some MVP whispers already. I like it. Dude, you got to like that he only had 30 yards rushing, through for three, all yeah. from the pocket, yes. showing his arm. Yes. The I legs, do, do you know, that. not getting himself hit. Uh, yeah, he looked he's good, still dude. got him, but he doesn't need to Against the stout Detroit defense. Yeah, I, that was like, weird, what? dude. That was weird. I never saw that coming, dude. No, nobody saw that coming. Detroit looks good this year. They look real good. Okay, all right. So we agree on Lamar. And then at the wide receiver, we got your favorite of my George Pickens, Michael Pittman Jr. and Christian Watson 
going up against Christian Kirk. Oh, you guys should line those up. Across. Mm, yeah, we need Christian to. Versus Christian. Who's going to be the real Christian, Brian? Is it going to be Kirk? And is it Chris Olave and WR1 in our hearts, Adam T. WR1 in our hearts, probably WR4 in real life or something. Three? He might, is he the best wide receiver in football? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> He's and a brand good. new toy for uh, Zach to play with, Chris Olave. Uh, I got to go with uh, Christian. I'm the real Kirk. Christian. I'm the real okay. Christian. Okay, I'll give I'll give you that Christian versus Christian. I just noticed that we got Pickens versus versus Christian playing head to head. Pittman versus Olave playing head to head. That's pretty nice. Mm. We got Christian versus Thielen not playing head to head. Um, yeah, I mean, Thielen's <laughs> blow out yeah. of the water, dude. I mean, because it's Thielen. I mean, Thielen. I think he's ranked. I was just looking at weekly rankings just for fun. I think Thielen's a top ten receiver, which is mind boggling, and I. I mean, there are probably a few teams on the bye, so that's probably why. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, but even still, dude. I mean, <laughs> if someone was going to score a yard in the fifth on their off week, it would be Adam Thielen, I think, more it than would be uh, James Cook's older brother. So, so uh, fine. Uh, yeah, on the strength of Adam Thielen, I'm going to say I'm going to give it to getting gritty. What a year. Okay. All right, and then at running back, Brian, we've got Sweet Trav, ETN Jr., and JTT coming back, being himself, going up against Aaron Jones and the brand new toy, also B. John Robinson. Uh, you know I never pick oh. against Sweet Trav, so give me your running backs. And thank JTT you, thank you. is doing more JTT stuff. Yeah, and I love it. Um, I figure ETN's good for two touchdowns. That's what he does. Um, Aaron Jones, you know, you can't really trust him this year. Bijan scares me a little bit, but I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm wondering what they're gonna do. Are they gonna give him too many carries this week to prove that he's not sick? Are they gonna split it or that? It's like, who knows? But uh, yeah, ETN and JTT for me. Yeah, I mean this sweet traps coming out party this year. Okay. And then in the flex, or the, uh, we love when it's easy, Brian, because the tight end we got Kelsey. And I love it. Brian. All right, all right. Kelsey. Give me Kelsey and you too. All right. Did you, and then the did you intentionally skip? Did you intentionally skip to the flex? I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> I love it. All right, and then uh, flex. We've got Alexander Madison going up against Joe Mixon at San Fran. Uh, I'm sorry, I got to pick Mixon in this one coming off a bye. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to go Mixon here. There's a chance I might put Taysom Hill in there. It just depends. It depends on how the week shakes out. It really doesn't matter, Brian, because no matter what you do, you, you're never matter. wrong. <laughs> and you're always in first place, Brian. And uh, yeah, Madison is actually like, it, it's tough to watch him sometimes. It, I, lo- it I, is. I love him. And it's just like, why aren't you better? All right. He's touchdown dependent. Yeah, I just, I hate it. And it's so weird. All right. And then the kicker, we've got Slep the best going up against Dick Buckus. Um, with five points for your man, going to go Dick Buckus is questionable, but he's kicking in Denver. Denver. Uh, I don't know. Mile high. <laughs> the base. Yeah, give me a base. He's due. He's been missing a lot of kicks. He's due. He hit for 37. Um, so he actually has 5.7, Brian. Yes, thank um, you. <laughs> and then <laughs> finally and only finally a defense. We've got Buffalo at home against Tampa, up 17 10 at the half, going up against New Orleans at Indy in the Minch. Um, mm-hmm. give me Buffalo. Yeah, I'm gonna take Buffalo here as well. Indianapolis put up 30 against eight, 38 against Cleveland. That's pretty crazy. I mean, Cleveland's got a, a serious defense, so right. But wouldn't they have to be out there for forty-eight minutes a game, Brian, because their offense is that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, tough out there. And then even when they do score, it's like oh, Jerome Ford bink in two seconds, and then they have to go play D again. <laughs> Bullshit. All right. Uh, uh, overall, Brian, there's no reason to. Oh my God, look at Gabe Dave. Yeah, let's we'll see. Let's we'll see. Gabe Dave for ten already, huh? That's kind of the I mean, he, you can't start him, dude. He just put up like two points and then one point, I think. Let me check. Since I point. traded him, he's caught like three balls for yeah. uh, three, one. Now he's got, he's yeah. So I traded three. him in two weeks. He got four for 27. I mean, yeah, he sucks. Everybody knows that, Brian. And then finally, uh, and only finally, I will never pick against you because you. you can't do anything wrong when you have <laughs> all the juju working with you. So, uh, 
Um, I can keep it rolling, dude. It's seven uh, in a row. I do too. I think I'm going to take it down. Um, I'm looking at the benches here. Yeah. Oh, no bye week issues here either. Interesting. Uh, that's lucky, um, <laughs> you know, that there isn't because it, it might change the outcome of this game. So glad there's none of that. Um, All right, let's let's move. You want to move right down the line? Uh, we could do Wizards versus Gags. Yeah, I'm cool with that. And uh, hold on a second. I think Deli may have texted. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that high school girlfriend that always cheats on you, Brian. Uh, <laughs> as Maddie said about my team, um, there's a little unfinished business for you. I wouldn't know what that's like, Brian, because a girlfriend girl would never cheat. <laughs> girl of mine would never <laughs> cheat on me. They'd have to be insane, especially uh, back then with my hairline and I was in shape and shit. Yeah, I know. It was weird. Um, it was weird. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Uh, all right. Um, all right, this next matchup. Sorry to cut you off after you're like pumping up your. I got to cling on to something, dude. <laughs> this next this next time matchup we have um, second place, the first loser, the Wizard of Wimber, going against From Gags to Riches, sitting in ninth place. Um, which Disco would say he's a fraud. Um, he does not have that fourth digit yet. He's still in the hundreds place. Um, <laughs> going head to head, we have Jared Goff. Never to be benched again. Craig hates himself for benching him. Going up against Tua against the New England. Oh, <laughs> wow. I, you know, that should be a slam dunk, Brian, but it doesn't feel like one. Um, it doesn't. I will still take Tua. Yeah, I'll take Tua, but I get, I agree. I don't think it's a slam dunk. Jared Goff. Halfway PPR, Monday, it'd be Tua by a mile, dude. Oh, for sure. But, like, Jared Goff and Detroit got embarrassed. Um, they're going to be playing Monday night at home versus that is a tasty ass matchup. Yeah. Right so, there. you know, on second thought, I'm going to give it to Jared Goff. All right. Did you watch right. That's Good Sports on YouTube? No. Uh-uh. Oh, you got to check him out. All right. Moving is on. It, is it just a channel? It's just the guy. Yeah, dude. The guy's a Broncos fan. He's fucking hilarious. Nice. Dude. Yeah. All right. You got to check him out. In the receiving position, um, Craig's got Stefan Diggs. But Nakua, Metcalf, going up against Michael Thomas, still not injured somehow, Chris Godwin, and T. Higgins. I mean, we are benefiting from a little bit of information here. Godwin looking nice tonight. Yeah. Um, Diggs, you know. Who could look good last week against the Steelers? Dude, Who doesn't? Like, Craig, here's my thing about, like, as Kamish, that he is he's not able to see people's bids, right? Because I swear to God, he didn't ever bid 77 bucks, 76 on Naku without knowing I put a $69 bid in, dude. Um, so yeah, we might want to look into that. It's so funny. uh it's so sick. That should be my guy. But that said, I'll take uh uh feels like a chase game though. And I hate what Michael Thomas did to me last week. So yeah, give me a crack. Yeah, give me Craig as well. I hate to say it, but Puka, some he 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 just tore the Steelers up. It was disgusting. So it was fun to watch. It was. Uh, and you get the W, so it's we did yeah. like no business really winning, but we somehow just turned it on at the end. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. Down in the fourth quarter, and all four wins, Brian. Is yeah, that right? Weird, dude. I forget how many fourth quarter comebacks he has in his like 17 game career it's like it's something ridiculous like 10 or 11 someone said that like in the first three quarters his hands start to swell up and by the fourth <laughs> quarter he's got like a man-sized hand and he can throw the ball and shit it's just wild that's, it's, that's really funny you gotta love the nfl because that's just it's, yeah it's weird it's uh, so funny. All, all right, right. Running, running backs we got tony pollard and bruce going against latavius murray and Miles Sanders. I mean, come on, dude. We love it. It's yeah. easy, Brian. So <laughs> yeah, easy. Right. So easy. <laughs> so easy. And Latavius isn't helping himself out. Like, yeah. if he had 40 and a touchdown, then maybe we'd start to think. But we come on. at least try, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. All right. And we've got Mark Andrews going up against, uh, I believe, the tight end two for Atlanta, um, Kyle Pitts. Tell me you saw his back behind the back catch this week. Who caught Pitts? No, I didn't see that. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Is I mean, it's fluky as shit. I think, yeah. but he, yeah, no, he one handed this ball like behind his back. I mean, either way, give me Mark Andrews. Yeah, Mark Andrews. 
I'll have to check it out. All right, in the flex, we got Jordan Addison going up against AJ Dillon. Yeah. We like when it's easy, Brian. Yep. Until Just Jeff is back, we're going to give it to Addison. How about yeah. that fucking 60 yard? Like, it's taken away from Charvarius Ward. Like, what yeah. a play. And yeah. it's another time where I got sniped in the draft, but Addison in the sixth or whatever the fuck it was. Yep. Yep. I was so looking at it too. Dude. So sick. All right. <laughs> All right, we got Fuck Brandon McManus going up against who's what's his first name? Brandon. Is it also Brandon? In the Battle of the Brandons? Battle Brian. of the Brandons. Oh man, who do you take? Or do you click to like do you to see if I'm? I mean, I made you say River Rivers. So. Yeah, I know. You're it right. is Brandon after all. Brandon versus Brandon. Uh, I'll take Brandon. Aubrey. I'll take the young leg. Okay, you know? I'll take... I like a nice young man's leg. <laughs> <I'll take... Brandon. laughs> I'll take no, I like your legs. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the, thank you. I'll take the young, I'll take the young gun too, the young legs. All right, then we got the Baltimore's defense against Arizona or Houston at Carolina. Oh yeah. okay. Uh you know what, dude? No. Give I'm me Houston. Taking Houston. Dude, I like it. I like it. All right. I'm gonna take Baltimore after I saw what they did to Detroit. Arizona's a little bit easier. It is in Arizona, but still I'm taking Baltimore. Um, it I feels think like take... a Hollywood revenge game, Brian. We didn't mention that in my matchup. <laughs> That's but... true. <laughs> oh, you're right. It is a Hollywood revenge game. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think Hollywood cooks them for a couple oh, of touches there. But you're so still that's why not I'm going, going with... to take your receivers, right? No, I took. No. I take as receivers. Yes, of course. Of course. Um, I only took Tua. Um, uh, the Jags. I, I actually, I, I changed I, it. I, I changed it. <laughs> <laughs> did you just pull a, a eighth and go I put the pick 10 for 10 uh, uh, except for aubrey except for the kicker okay yeah I, well i picked the bun you know what uh the buns i think are gonna come through uh except that they're not brian no they're, they're <laughs> it doesn't not. look like it but uh yeah uh, it's always tough out there, Brian. Dude, can you imagine if Gags had beaten me, he'd be four and three with less than a thousand points? Dude, yeah. imagine if if instead of Murray and Sanders, he had fucking yeah. Dobbins and Chubb, dude. Yeah. And yeah. you'd be like, damn, dude. Yeah. That'd be legit. <laughs> yeah. And you wouldn't have AJ Dillon and anybody's so you'd have Miles in there probably, but still, yeah. dude, like, yeah. yeah, no. It's gross out there, but hold on, he's gotta have some bye week issues, right? No? Uh, what? Yeah, I was thinking. No, <laughs> no. what? No buy issues. Look at that, Chase Claypool. I love that point two <laughs> <three projected. laughs> That's wonderful. So they're thinking he's going to catch one, but <laughs> for minus eight yards, is that That's what they think he's capable exactly. of? Or a two two and a third yard rush? That's you know, so funny. <laughs> It's either going to be the bubble screen gone wrong or he's going to run and end around for two. <laughs> I love it. That's all you get, dude. <laughs> Did you see somebody, oh. posted, somebody posted Chase Claypool's like last three teams between like the Bears, the Steelers, and whoever else he was playing for? And like the record with and without him is just like night and day. Like they have like three combined wins when he's on their team. And when he's off their team, they're like well over 500. And they blame Chase Claypool for all of it. <laughs> Dude, I remember it. saying out loud when they traded, or and even online when they traded Claypool for to the Bears. I was like, "What did they get? A third rounder? Yeah, or something yeah. stupid yes. like that." And I was just yes. so pissed off that. And not only that, it's like the Bears' third rounder, so it's like a good one. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. they greased them so hard on that. Oh my God! Yeah. Pittsburgh fleece the shit out of Chicago. <laughs> I don't even care who they took, dude. If they if they took a punter, they won that trade, dude. Which you never would in the top of the third. Anyway, yeah. I, do you know who they took with that pick? By the way, I, I don't off the top of my head. No, uh, whoever okay. it was, it was better than Chase Claypool. Someone on a line app can uh, yeah. research that for us. I'd like yes. to know. Yeah. I'd like to know who they got for that. Good, Josh. Get inside that computer. All oh, right. This is, this is all you. All right. In this next matchup, uh, Brian, we've got none other than uh, 
fresh, fast out the gate, slow down a little bit. Like, uh, what's that guy that Manny has that cooked me on a Thursday? DJ Moore. Oh, yeah, DJ Moore, yeah. Uh, going up against maybe the worst three and four eighth place team I've ever seen, Brian. He's having a <laughs> tough year quietly. Uh, he had a really fluky Garrett Wilson touchdown to beat someone I know. Anyway, uh, he's three and four. It's Josh, two years ago, was the world champ. Yeah. Uh, his team's a little hungover, Brian, from that two championship are. two years ago. Um, <laughs> but without further ado, let's do it. Matthew Stafford at Dallas going up against Justin Herbert at home against the Bears. You got to like Herbert in that one, although he looked like, sh- I mean, he did. He did. Is KC's D like kind of that good, though? Like they're pretty tough, dude. They are. Don't, 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 don't let, you know, don't let Kevin Bean's like head. And penis get any bigger because <laughs> his penis will never get any bigger, Brian. <laughs> as hard as he may try on the internet with the inflatable, uh, yeah. but yeah, Justin Herbert looked, he looked awful. Could, uh, but yeah, you know, give me, that he give me Herbert on like... Sunday night at home. <laughs> Do you think Kevin bought a bunch of pills to grow his dick? I don't think he would. <laughs> Do that only because I think he's cheap, not because I think that he wouldn't love to have some of that. All right, <laughs> I'm just kidding, Kevin. And then the wide receiver, we got Terry Kill, Tyler Lock, and CD Lamb going up against Amari Cooper, Garrett Wilson, and DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, and Tyreek, me, Tyreek, and company. Ooh, why Lane. is he questionable? Is it feel like a Waddle game? I don't know, it's I weird. Feel like, I feel like Waddle was also questionable. Yeah, he yeah, but he came back, dude. He yeah. got he hurt his back, but then he, dude, he's not gonna not play the Patriots. That's yeah. Who, who's that dude that fucking uh hit him helmet to helmet? A dirty ass hit, dude. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. it was yeah, he's gonna come back and cook these guys. All right. Um, but yeah, give me Juddy too. All right, and then at running back, we've got James Cook on the field tonight, uh, with five point eight points, and Najee Harris going up against Saquon Barkley in a cunt. Uh, give me the cunt, dude. Yeah, yeah same the, here. Barkley, Barkley and cunt there. Um, no Jerome Ford this close week. To the uh, goal line there. Maybe you're gonna punch one in. He better hope he punches one in, Brian, because uh, Jerome Ford's not playing this week. So yeah, yeah. So cunt's gonna do. So something. they might see some cunt this week. Uh, from Josh, you might see Josh's cunt. Come yeah, out and just full display on full display. Just, a snapper that talks to you, Brian. All right. And then it's tight end. We've got Darren. Yep, yeah, I might be a baller going up against the number one tight end in Atlanta. Hold on. Hold on. Delhi's calling me. Oh, finally. Ridiculous. Hey, we're kind of doing a podcast here that you used to be a part of. Oh, nice. Get him. Dude, I, I emailed you. I emailed you the link, dude. What does it say? Okay, I'll try to resend it to you. Oh, come on. Oh, you're you're unbelievable. I'm hanging up. Bye. Wait, if you hang wait, if you say I'm hanging up, you shouldn't say bye. So I'm I'm hanging up. <laughs> unbelievable, Brian. It is unbelievable. I mean, how the mighty have fallen. Dude, I sent it to him. All he has to literally like I sent it to him and all he has to do is click join our cloud. HD video meeting. I'm gonna send it to him again. It's there. He just doesn't he needs to scroll down. This thing went from an alive in person <laughs> vegan dinner, That's fucking right. cozy ass podcast <laughs> that I felt like I was there on that porch with you guys freezing me nuts off, you know. To this, the guy can't yeah. even fucking get on properly. Yeah. He's using yeah. his wife's oh, fucking I mean, wait, he's know. on. He figured it out. I didn't even resend it. Didn't even resend it. He figured it he, out. He doesn't even have his own link dude you gotta use brogan's yeah link like he uses brogan's money to buy the groceries brian oh not true he oh, always no. buys brogan's <laughs> money <to> groceries. <laughs> i just don't know to turn to uh finally you're here dude i have to rip on you I, whether or not that's true i don't care it is in my mind in the movie in my head dude you <laughs> it's brogan like giving you your allowance brian yeah what Can do you see me I can always see you, Matty. We see no. you. Buddy. We see you. Oh, uh, can you? All I see is Bigler's big head. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, dude. We see on my screen. I see the three of us, and then the, you know the, the matchup that we're currently. Yeah, am I Alice in the Brady Bunch, or I look up? You are. Yeah, you are totally Alice. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Who's up top? Is it the dad? Are you the mom, Brian? I don't know. I, 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 you I'm should, the dad. Yeah, you have to be Florence Henderson because she's blonde like you. Okay. And Josh Allen with a touchdown to Gabe Dave. Ooh, I mean, uh, lighting up benches uh, all over the world, yeah, Brian. Yeah, I, I would be really, really upset right now if he had put him in. You put who in? Dude, Dude it's... This is the thing, Brian. It's yeah. this year, so of course your opponent yeah, mentions course. a guy who's got twenty or something. I right. mean, Get, I mean, he would definitely have over probably close to over twenty points right now. He's got what, like seven for seventy and a touch yeah. or something. Yeah. Anyway, who cares? Because dude, he's on every bench on every fantasy team. Yep. Who, Kincaid? No, no, no Gabe, no, Dave. Gabe, Dave. Oh, Gabe, Dave. Oh, yeah. Coming off of two stinkers, dude. Nobody could start him with confidence. And, and the unless they had bye week problems, Brian, they probably, you know, didn't. <laughs> Fair plan. point. Fair point. <laughs> Lots of buys this week, you know. <laughs> Lots of blues. Deli, can you see anything yet? I can see your, your face and Baylor's oh. face. Weird. You can't see, like, the matchup or anything? Uh, hold on. Dude, it's on your end. I guarantee it, dude. It'd be yeah, it's a user error. Yeah, like it happened to me last week or something. You need to like click something side by side mode. I don't know. I don't know, Maddie. But anyway, back to what we were saying. We were saying, back Darren, is he coming back to be a baller, Brian? Maybe going up against the number one tight end yes. in Atlanta, John yes. Smith. Um, I got. Uh, I want. I want to believe. I, I don't. Believe. I want to believe, but I don't believe yet. Only uh, Tyrod Taylor. Give me Johnny Smith. What? I don't care. Give me Wall of the Baller. Okay. Give me Wall of the Baller. All right, and in the flex, we've got KJ Osborne at Green Bay going up against Derrick Henry at home against Atlanta. Uh, give me Derrick Henry. Give me King Henry. Henry. He's not the king anymore. He's gonna get traded. I put in a couple of DraftKings lineups uh, for the Monday night game that I like doubled my money. So I put in like 20 bucks and then I won like 57 or something. Sweet. Yeah, no. And all my lineups had Jordan Addison in them. So that's why. Um, anyway, that, that worked out. I don't, right. I don't know why I said that. Oh, because I won like 5K on that Pittsburgh, Minnesota one last year or two years ago. Oh, right, right, right. And, yeah, when Minnesota plays primetime, dude, I win money on DraftKings. It's stupid. All right. And then the kicker, we've got Sweep the Leg going up against Shank the Kick. Give yeah. me Sweep the Leg. Sweep the Leg. Shankers. You going with Shank the Kick? Yeah, that's you right. I just gave him a name. Brooke Shanks. He shanked the kick. Um, he shanked the kick in Cleveland, a 41-yarder, and uh, cost him the game. And they've won- lost two in a row now, and he's – yeah, he sucks. All right, and then finally, Brian and Maddie, and only finally, we've got the defense of Atlanta at, at Tennessee going up against San Fran at home against Cincinnati. Uh, feels like a chase game and a Burrow game. Mm. Give me Atlanta. You know what? I'm actually going to take Atlanta as well. San Fran, for whatever reason, looked off their game last week. I, I don't know why. I feel like Burrow and Chase are just going to go bonkers but would, i don't know why i'm yeah, thinking I mean, about that didn't, Brian, but you didn't weird. pick that at all but for some reason I, you're feeling it i'm gonna go with san fran i feel like san fran's defense is gonna step it up because purdy's not there and bose is gonna throw uh bird to the ground like four times no i hate you shut up all right and then finally <laughs> overall well i love you i love you too but it's really weird when you say that my guy is not gonna play awesome um <laughs> confusing they say not awesome so, okay, so I took the running backs and I took the QB and uh, I'm going to, you know what? Give me Josh. Fuck you, Craig. Or who, I'm sorry, Juddy. Juddy. <laughs> oh, it's against Juddy. Then give me Probably Juddy. There's a deep seed hatred there. Fuck you, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I know that it's not Craig he's playing, uh, I'll take Juddy. All right. I took go with Juddy. Who are you taking, Deli? I'm taking Juddy. Taking Juddy. Uh, I took a lot. Yeah, I did. I took a lot of Juddy, believe it or not, other than Herbert. Yeah, give me, uh, give me Juddy. All um, right. But then again, Josh might squeak that out and still uh, go on. He'll, he might get to 500. Yeah, that would be a travesty, dude. Like, yeah. what? That's a, uh, that would be a travesty. Well, Gags could win and be 500. <laughs> I, know. Oh, oh, I know. And we've gone over his team a little bit yeah. tonight. I'm sure Craig, Lamb basted him too on Tuesday. I, I, 
as you know, I never watch when I lose, so I haven't <laughs> seen much of Craig this year. I, yeah, I didn't, get, I didn't get the chance to watch it yet. I will watch it, though. Also, Brian, did you respond to, uh, in your unfinished business, Craigie's uh, Pee Wee Herman comment? I did on the lineup. I did not in person. Um, you know, I did, oh. it's a little too soon. Paul Ruins, rest in peace. You know, I'll, right. I'll bring it into the fantasy world. <laughs> trying to say that's the only reason you're in first place and winning? Yeah, yeah there's so many if, other reasons. I mean, if, if that's the case... Eddie Vedder should have been dead like 20 years ago. Oh, wow. wow. and also, I mean, because he already sings like he's dead. Like he doesn't have a jaw for seven years. <laughs> Did you ever see that clip that's like what Pearl Jam sounds like to everybody? And it kind of like, breathe in, dig a bit of a little bit of a little Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's pretty funny. Anyway, yeah, I know. Hey, uh, Detling. Speaking of um, unfinished business, do you have any since you just get since you just got here? You got anything you need to get off your chest? Uh, unfinished business. Let's see here. I didn't write anything down. Uh, Kevin Bean. Uh, good job beating me. Uh, I mean, once in like a you know how like Halley's comet came around Earth like once every whatever five hundred years. You know, you remember Haley's comment? Of course, we remember. Yeah. Well, Brian we always Stern remember that. Man. I know Haley's. I know. Anyways, Haley's I mean, Haley's comment is the same as Gus Edward, Edwards catching a eighty-yard pass for, and he didn't even score on it for not a touchdown. I didn't see the play. Like, yeah. how do you not but score? You don't even throw to Gus Edwards, and all of a sudden he gets an eighty-yard pass. So, and not to Foreman. So, whatever. Good job. Uh, I'm not going to sit there and do what Craig does in matchups and says. I gifted you a win by not starting this person when yeah. not admitting stuff like, okay, I'm an idiot. I take it like a man. I did this, you know, you know, which, is, which you should I do. agree. I agree. Uh, and Bigler and I ripped on beans running back so hard last yeah. week. And the fact that they somehow came out with like 50, some 55 point performance is ridiculous. I believe I right. said Kamara could like, perish in a fire. <laughs> yes. and they'd I think he's going to be both by himself. One half of Kamara was going to win. Dude, that isn't that weird how like this this has been going on a bit, dude, where like someone will either be far behind on Thursday, they'll get killed by someone, or yeah, the guys will do shit and then they'll end up losing the game. Like you after Kamara got 30 on Thursday, you're like, I got this. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, my Bro, other one gets is, three um, touchdowns and all this shit. <laughs> what's our what was our first round pick's name, Brian? Broderick was it Tom Jones? Jones. Jones. So I was I dealt dice today for ten hours. This guy comes up and he buys in for whatever amount of money, and he's winning. So he's on my side. I'm bent up, down, left, right. Blah, 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 you know, select, start, select, start. A B A B. B A. He's throwing hundred dollars at like the shooters that are winning money, but but not. You don't want to give a fucking dime to the guy that's breaking his back for you. And then he has the nerve to go to the bot. The he's sitting in the box, the floor person. Dude, hey man, I need a. Can I get a chair, man? My back's hurting. I need a back. I need a chair. And and the guy's like, dude, I I'm not giving you a chair. He's like, you know my back's hurting. And I'm like, and we're all looking at this guy named Bob, who's sitting right next to this dude is 96 years old, not using. He comes with a walker. He isn't asking for a chair. Like tough it out, man. Like yeah. don't well, be a who, puss. Who was asking for the chair, Broderick Jones? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, fuck him. What? He's yeah. like a professional athlete and he needs yeah, a what is he? What is he, like 22? Yeah, exactly. He's trying <laughs> to say he has a bad back. Yeah. There's no injury report saying he has a bad back or anything like that. But I'm telling you, this old man who literally is 96 years old wow. does not need a chair. And he looks like he needs a chair. And he is not asking for a chair. Hmm. Listen, for the record, um, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B-A, start, is the Capcom uh, code. Yeah, it's good. Right. Sorry. Maybe I was thinking right. of uh, the POW code. For it bothers me when people like say the code wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you ain't getting well, 30 lives in Contra or Life Force with that shit. The, the select start, select start comes from POW. Prisoners of War? Yeah. Did they port that to the NES? Dude, that was an original game. No, dude. I played that shit in the arcade, the pizzeria, when I was like eight. POW. I know. It was still, it came to Nintendo. Well, yeah, but I didn't realize. Yeah, oh. and it's and I beat it, and I had to use the code because <laughs> wow. it's so hard. <laughs> oh, dude, I w- never got very far in the arcade. 
Mm-mm. Well, I tried that game one. really, dude, because you know you get like two bucks for your mom. It's like, dude, you get yeah. wasted in Double Dragon with two bucks. <laughs> dude, I had to do that. There's a the bar combo, whatever. Chick, a uh, Coupe de Ville down down the strip, and it has arcade games. And one of them was POW right next to Mario Brothers. Mm. I force fed that thing like five dollars worth of quarters before I quit. <laughs> it's yeah, like, it's a hard game. Something's dude. never changed. It's mm. fun. It's fun though. Yeah, it is. I like but, those games. I think that's Simpsons all my unfinished business I can think of right now. Craig sucks. That's so mainly because he's right behind Brian, and he can't take it that you're in first place. Oh, I know. That's why. Oh, I'm are we talking about standings? And shit? Yeah. Less, we've been. We're past the standings. Yeah. I mean, we'll you don't back. really do the we'll podcast do. anymore, yeah. Maddie. But yeah. dude, it's all Not about how sexy. Not my fault. You, it's how sexy your team looks. Sometimes you know uh, some of your players are. Well, not like the overall win percentage. Who cares about those things? Well, lucky Craig for does. you, lucky for you, Deli, we saved your matchup. We were like, maybe oh, nice. he's actually going to show up. So we'll say that I believe we only have your matchup and then the matchup of the week. Is that right, Bigler? That's right, Brian. All right. Well, let's what, get not the matchup these... of the week. The six mm-hmm. versus eleven. You were not. You were not. <laughs> no, no, you weren't even close. You're surprising. No. Yeah. This next matchup, we have Possum Magic coming fresh off a loss to yours truly in 11th place. And uh, he probably doesn't deserve to be there. He probably deserves a little bit better than that. Going up against the Yinzer Jags, still rocking that amazing profile. Loving it. Really, yeah, really love that. I hope you keep that around for a while. And uh, he's sitting in sixth place right there, almost on the outside looking in. But he's still got a spot if the playoffs were to start today. Um Barely, but I do. Hanging on. He'd yeah. be playing. He'd be playing that Haley's Comet again, coming back around if the playoffs started today. By the way, that's true. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, that's catch that's the ride cool. twice. Drink the Kool Aid. Wear my black mm. and white Nikes. <laughs> that would be incredible. <laughs> you know how lucky Maddie gets <laughs> in the playoffs, and Kevin like. Oof, oof. Man, did he talk some shit this week? Yeah, Maddie? He talked, yeah that's he, another dude. Yeah. Talked like it was the Super Bowl, man. He did. He I just let him it. keep on going. I didn't hate on him. Go for oh, it, yeah. buddy. You want to you want to rag on me? I think there are twenty four lines of it, it, six lines of text just yeah. for a fifty yard field goal. Yeah. <laughs> I I know. <laughs> and I believe I saved him. Don't you worry. There were twenty seven messages from Bean before anyone else ed- uttered a response. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he, he was feeling his team, man. He was feeling him. I mean, what, what can you say? He did, you know, put a couple sexy Hondos on you. He did. He did. Hey, I, I mean, you can't hate on him when you're, the running backs went off. Mm. Like, that yeah. shouldn't have been off. No. 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 And Keenan Allen had a dud, right? It was the other guy. He did. Yeah. Cooper Cup had a nice dud, too. AJ Brown is on a <laughs> fucking heat. Hey, Kevin looks smarter and smarter every week. He actually does. AJ Brown, yeah. Dude. And that's, yeah, Brian, you never uh, put out that uh, pre-draft recording that we did. I will. On the way there. At this at this point, I might as well save it till the end of the year just for a little bit, you know? Yeah. See how I well agree. it ages. It's, dude, I bet it hasn't aged well already. No. By a mile, yeah. dude. It's uh, some moldy cheese underneath your right. seat. Fell oh, I know what I was going to say. Damage. Shoot, last one. Hey, Craig, I know what you did. I saw what you did on that waiver wire there, picking up Jaden Reed, baby. You jerk. $26 on him. Hey man, I wanted to keep him. He's like a 17th round draft pick, but there you go. He always like you always make a career out of picking out my my garbage. <laughs> He's That's not gonna it. make it, dude. If he even sees the lineup, Craig's in dire straits, dude. Let's put it that oh, way. Oh no, he's just trying to save because that's what Craig does at the end of the year. He saves his transactions and picks garbage people up and tries to trade them later on the next year. He's like, hey, I got Juju Smith Schuster. You want him? Yeah, well. <laughs> this is true. This is. True. I don't think he's going to get anybody for Jaden Reed next year. Is all. Mm-hmm. Well, it's Christian Watson's healthy. <laughs> yeah, and Romeo Dubes, dude, and yeah. Lionel Musgrave. Dubes. Yeah. Is it Lionel? All right, all right, let's get into it. We've got it's not, oh. but it is at the okay. quarterback <laughs> position. We've got Gardner Minshew making an appearance, getting a start for Tree Slays, going up against Jalen Hurts. Uh, hold on, maybe he's having some bye week issues. And uh, uh, yeah, Purdy, Purdy's I concussion protocol. I know. I know. Uh, uh, give me the Minch, Brian. Oh my goodness! What? I'm just kidding. I'm cool. Cool. When it's easy, give me Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, baby. Okay. I just Jaylen Jaylen Hurts, what I can't, say about I can't that. tell you how I won't be able to show my face on this podcast for like a week if I get beat by Uncle Rico. 
Oh my goodness! Yeah, listen, your quarterback can go happen, out dude. and throw a pick and get hurt, <laughs> never come back. You That's never right. know. Yeah. Minshew, yeah. I think, got close to fifty points last week. Yeah, 47, 45. Sheesh. He's doing all right. Yeah. He's fine. All yeah. right, for treasures, we've got Ridley. I'm on St. Brown. Nico Collins, he's back in the lineup. Going up against DJ Moore, Cooper Cup, and Romeo Dubes. Ah. Wow, that's a good one. Uh, what are these matchups? Uh, uh, let me give it to you know what? Give me tree size. Yeah. I like uh, Nico Collins gets yeah. weird. This I got, yeah, I got DJ Moore with Tyson Badgett or whatever that guy is. And Dom. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want him to start Nico Collins so much. Okay, I'll give it to tree size. Yeah, Nico could blow this one up. I don't think he benches Nico. Uh, he was on a bye last week. He was yeah, on I a know, bye, yeah. but I still, I still didn't want him to start him. <laughs> love some Nico. Love me. Yeah, you're, you're like you're like trying to use the force to like so he doesn't put him in his lineup. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried that before. It never works, yeah. dude. They always play the best player. <laughs> Why is that? It's like I don't know. Injections. They're looking at assholes. <laughs> what are they thinking? All right, in the running back position, we got Pacheco and we got Eckler going up against Kamara and KW three. Where have you gone, Austin Eckler? I'll oh, take Maddie's man. running backs, dude. Me, me too. I mean, projected for 17, but that's you know, dude. If he got 17, you almost are like, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas last year you're like getting 30 plus from him every week. I don't think he ever was under 20 last year. Like he's way yeah. more hurt than he's not fully healthy, right? Yeah. I mean, it looks like dog shit, five, he's got 10 and five. I don't understand. I don't, want, I don't want you guys to pick my running backs. You picked them we're, last week. We're take, we're <laughs> we're them like, yeah, well, because, <laughs> dude, and Camaro, like, he's the only guy the car throws to, dude. Like, yeah, yeah. every play is designed to throw to Camaro. It's sick, dude. Yeah. And it works every time. So why wouldn't you? I mean, you gotta, right. he still looks good. And KW3 yeah. always gets 100. In fact, uh, KW3 was the only... 100 yard rusher last week, and he didn't even score a touchdown. Isn't that weird? Wow, that's really weird. I don't know if Craig mentioned that, but he did not. He did not know. No, nah, he wouldn't beast. know that shit. Yeah. Lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> well, I'm going to, I'm taking tree sizes as running back. So this match up. He's juicy. just, he's doing that because the moon is almost full, and he's mm-hmm. like, I don't want, I'm going to do the reverse psychology. All right. Yep. Let's keep going. Kind of like, kind of like AIDS. All right. Godard versus, La- <laughs> Godard versus Laporta. Give me Laporta. Great matchup. That is Laporta. on Monday night, Laporta. All right, in the flex, we've got Drake the Snake London going against Jalen Warren. Uh, I'll take the Lundy then in this one. Give me, they give don't me. use Warren enough, dude. No, they don't, but, man, he looks good every time he touches the ball. Give me Jalen Warren. I think he's going to get another touchdown. Dude, if he had four points points if he didn't score a touchdown last week yeah. so i'm going to london brown you love you love yourself I some warren used to. oh yeah i love warren i do i do not enough to trade you for him but dude, we always talk <laughs> about drake london but then we pulled up his stats before and we were like oh n- never mind yeah. he's looking he's good and what did he do last week he almost he scored him. on that play he was yeah. an inch from scoring a That's touchdown true. so he could have had like I, another yeah I he's doing all right it was pretty crazy he, he, he should have scored Laying it on his head for the team and everything, dude. Ugh. All right, then Tree Size is gonna go against Jacksonville against Pittsburgh, and we got Philadelphia. We got the kicker. Washington. Oh, nobody God. cares about the kicker. Right. <laughs> Justin Hoffman going up against the sexy Swede. Give me the Swede. Yeah, the Swede. Going Hopkins because Carlson didn't even practice. Oh wow! So he might not Whoa. play, and also my backup kicker got released. I saw that. I'm, I'm fired on all <laughs> cylinders here. <laughs> oh, that's a waste of a tranny when you have it to is. use it on Sunday. It is. I thought I had him for the bye week, and now he's the only guy that got released as a kicker. Like, how many weeks? <laughs> I don't know. Isn't it supposed to snow on the West Coast this weekend? And then it's is at Seattle's not a great Whoa. place to kick, dude. Mm. Uh, I think whoever you play, I'll take, Manny. How about that? <laughs> okay. Mm. Cleveland's off. It's Seattle's D, and Witherspoon on defense is a fucking machine. I love watching that kid. He's awesome. It is pretty damn good. Wait, right. is he from the Ohio State? Is that why you like him so much? No, he's just like fifth overall pick. I don't, I, uh-huh. I have to plead ignorance somewhere he went to college. Mm. I feel bad now. Um, but <laughs> he's playing like a fifth overall pick, dude. The guy's all over the place. Mm. All right, and finally, I already mentioned the defenses. I'm taking Philadelphia. Uh, 
We like when it's easy, Brian. I'll yeah. take Philly. Although Jacksonville D is playing awesome this year. They are. They're playing great. I mean, Pittsburgh's at home. Like they don't. Pittsburgh doesn't put up very many points. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they could easily win that matchup. Yeah. But I Washington. Yeah. Right. You, hey, listen, I'm, are, I'm taking Philadelphia's defense, and here's the reason why: because the Jacksonville's starting safety. I don't know, Brian. You should pay attention to this stuff since he's on your uh, team. I know. called George Pickens out. I saw that dude. And said, I saw that. You I haven't saw seen it. defensive backs like ours. Meanwhile, they're like 29th in the league against the pass. Yeah. Yeah. So George yeah, Pickens like gonna, licking Pick, his chops. Dude, Pickens is going to love playing against them. He is. But He's a lot of like, that's, right, dude, dude, yeah, but the pe- teams are going, getting garbage time against them too, though. Uh, mm-hmm. And they, so they're exclusively passing. So you got to think about that a little bit. True. Well, hey, you called out George Pickens. Let's see what he's got, baby. Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's see if he steps it up. I, I mean, it's not George Pickens. Dude, Ryan. if George Pickens had a great quarter, it's not George Pickens' no. his fault. Like Kenny Pickett's not good in the first three quarters. <laughs> in most of the game. <laughs> <laughs> you put George Pickens on like any team that has like an offensive philosophy, and he's like top ten easy. Yeah, I he, agree with that. He, yeah, no. It, you're going to – you've got some quarterback issues in Pittsburgh. I'm not going to lie. No, there. for sure. Yeah, no, might be the only, there's only two people here in Pittsburgh that think Kenny Pickett isn't that good, and I know one of them is on this computer. I don't know about Brian. <laughs> I don't think, dude, nobody dude. thinks he's that good. I no, mean, he's can't, not that good. It's, you can come it's to Pittsburgh, not Matt every, Canada's fault that you fucking can't hit your receivers between no. the numbers. Hey, dude. Pittsburgh, for, they think he's God. Like, oh, he's <laughs> great. He's great. They refuse yeah. to admit it. Dude, there's no reason. There's no way we should be four and two. I'm I'm actually looking forward to this game. Like I think it's going to be a good game. I think Jacksonville is going to probably win it, but I wouldn't be surprised if Pittsburgh sneaks it out. That's what they yeah. This is the kind I, of game they win, go. dude. That's yes. these are the kind of games they win. Yep. Mm-hmm. Should be a good. But be a good game. all that said, I'll still take Philly's D. Um, okay, hold on a second. We do have some bye week blues. Um, our, oh no, wait, he was cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, oh no, no. Achilles heel. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird it's like everyone's getting really lucky this week well i mean did your kicker get you negative last week he I, every time i looked up he was missing something let's see if he did he got me like maybe he did he got one one he got one one okay. point yeah. yeah when their awful. team scored 17 so he that means he made a field goal uh who yeah, he missed an extra point as well oh, oh no they went for two and got it never yeah. mind uh who cares fuck him yeah that's what i have to say apparently uh, let's see. Who, who are we taking here? Uh, I'm going to go with, well, I'm going to, I t- only took the receivers in Drake London. Oh. Maddie's Hurts and Philly. Steve, come on. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Maddie on this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take, I'm going to take those bun, deadly sexy buns. I mean, it was Romeo Dubes' touchdown that Jaden Reed caught anyway. <laughs> he got, exactly. he should have gotten the assist on that for like three points. <laughs> <you know? laughs> They should have split the six. Um, yeah, and no, Dubes is kind of being disrespected a bit, but he says yeah, could go good. to two and six, potentially making his way down to the bottom of the basement. I don't know about point totals. Should no, I don't do worry, it? <laughs> because Disco only has one win. You see. Well, I'm saying that there's potential for a second. <laughs> Yeah. That would mean that AIDS got to win, dude, and everybody knows that you can't win with AIDS, Brian. True, true. Uh, yeah, you got any more trade offers, there, buddy? Yes. You got any more trade offers coming your way? Who, me? Yeah. I'm always getting trade offers, Maddie, and they're worse every time. <laughs> like, just because I'm one in six doesn't mean I'm retarded. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I have to say about that. I figured Dan right. Logger had 81, probably sending like 81 trades oh, a day. Man. Mm. Who are you taking, Deadly? I don't. I don't want to disrespect anybody by naming their name on the <laughs> podcast. I'm going to take myself and pray. Okay. Yeah, it's a good matchup for you, I think, Manny. And Tree Size, I think, has by. Well, we're out of there now, but I'm sure he has by week issue. Yeah, I'm sure he does. He always uh, does. Deadly, would you like to take the matchup of the week? Uh, sure. I would. Do you remember? Do you remember how? Uh, barely. Holy smokes! I just saw the score. One hey, quarter back there. Uh, this week's matchups, we have the Biscuits oh, and no, Porn. No, no, you say the, the match of the week. Yeah, the match. And now. <laughs> You're right. I did forget how. <laughs> and now, the matchup 
of the week. We Brian and Brandon. Uh, Biscuits and porn at three and four versus Dub C coming off the his Super Bowl win, <laughs> five and two in third place. At quarterback, we have the lovely Kirk Cousins versus Josh Allen. And I can tell you right now, I'm taking Josh Allen. Yeah, uh, we like when it's easy. Yeah, and we, 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 were always taking, we were always yeah. taking Josh Allen, yeah. you guys, and uh, we yeah. really are now. Yeah. Um, wow. He's, he is looking good tonight. I'll say, dude. Damn. Yeah. All right. Moving along for wide receivers, we have Devontae Smith, Jacoby mm. Myers, and is it is it Josh Downs? It is, Maddie. Okay, versus AJ Brown, Brandon Ayuk, and Keenan Allen, and I feel like this is easy as well. I'm going to yeah. take uh, Kevin Bean's receivers. I'm going to take Kevin's receivers as well. Where have you gone, Devontae Smith? Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> definitely pulled a disappearing act. KB, I'll take KB as well. All right, in the running backs, the what you would definitely think would be a way more powerful combo, uh, Josh Jacobs and Javante Williams first. Who knows? They could surprise once again Gus Edwards and Dante Foreman. Oh, man. His, you know, his running backs looked a little bit better last week, you guys. What happened? Oh, that's right. He traded away that guy uh-huh. with the bellyache. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm still taking uh, Jimmy's running backs. I don't care what. The, yeah, I don't, I don't care. care. Gus week. Edwards is never catching an 80 yard pass in, again in his life. And Dante Foreman might be held to only two touchdowns this week yeah i'm uh, gonna take <laughs> i'm taking his running backs as well uh yeah. i'm sure you guys did trade time already we did i have no problem with the trade i do see it as a big gamble by jimmy it's like mm-hmm. it's like betting on the field line and craps there's 16 ways to win and 22 ways to lose i believe mm-hmm. so uh good luck with that he might not come back at all and you might not be in a position where if he comes back it helps you out anyway or my or he could have title. a deadly stack of cousins. Jeff, that's yeah, pretty right. much what we said um, verbatim. I think I like it. It's a, it's yeah, a fun gamble. Yeah, it's a gamble, yeah. but a I, fun game. I we, love. We all know that, uh, that. <laughs> Craig is rooting for uh, Justin Jefferson to never heal. Yes, so he course. can coast yeah. to the try to coast in the playoffs. And, and that might be loser. the only reason why the trade, you know, is too much of a gamble because Craig. You know that he's got that wand out this year, and it's looking weird. It is looking <laughs> weird. <laughs> I felt like during the season sometime that he would try to trade uh, Jim for Kirk Cousins, and I, I don't think Jim will now because Kirk Cousins is pretty damn good. Yeah. Plus now, he's like, no why? Way, he's how can you say thirty-seven point three, and then you have right. Dak going for forty? Like, right? What? <laughs> Yeah, they know yeah, the way we keep score because they right. do it for us really well. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So what the fuck, man? Give them a forty-eight point projection at least. Yeah. Dude. Come on. Right. At least. And with that means, let's move on to the old yeah. tight end. Let's like get George. Fuck you, Dallas Kittle, versus T.J. Hawkinson. I'm I'm going Kittle. Uh, feels like a CMC game, Brian. I'm going T.J. Hawkinson. <laughs> uh, give me Kittle this two, this week. He looked good last week. I feel like it's, if it's a backup quarterback, who is it? Uh, Sam Darnold. Uh, he might throw the wide receivers more, but I'm still going to go kill. Is that who's starting he's checking, for, No, he's checking it down all day, you guys. He probably will, actually. He's going to check it down, <laughs> but he might. Tight ends could be his little safety valve, too. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. you're probably right. It's probably a CMC game. Could without be without sure. just Jeff there. I mean, Hawkinson's eating targets up, dude. Right, right. All right, here in the flex appeal, we have Ray Rice. I mean, Ray Rice. I love it. I love it. Just stick with that. Keep going. Yeah. Ray Rice versus Ramondre Stevenson. I think uh, Ray Rice slaps the shit out of Robert <laughs> Stevenson. <laughs> that was great. Uh, listen, I will say what that was. Ray Rice throws one of the best right hands when he's yes. in the lady. I, yes. I mean, you hate to see it sometimes, but you kind of know where he's coming from other oh times. <laughs> Any man who's been with a woman for a long time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I mean, you know that she had that come. To, she oh said God. the thing that you're not supposed to say. <laughs> yep. He yep. already told her, don't ever mention that. And she did. She, you did. Know she did. He crushed her, dude. Yeah. Uh, and he's going to crush did. Ramondre just like that. Give him, give me Ray Rice. Yeah, just because yes. you said Ray Rice, I'm going with Ray Rice. 
<laughs> and so, Brian, you, a kicker, we've got name? Matt Gay versus <laughs> Young Way Koo. Who do you like? Still my thunder. I'm gonna go with Matt Gay. Matt yes. Gay. Matt Gay. Matt's always right. gay, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> always gay for fantasy football. All right, and defense. Phoenix. We got Detroit versus Las Vegas and Kansas City versus Denver. Ooh, baby. I'm going. Tasty. Gonna go Detroit versus De- uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the home team yeah. on this one. Uh, Detroit on Monday night. Uh, KC versus Denver is pretty tasty too. Uh, yeah. uh, who are the Jets playing? Because <laughs> you know they're gonna outperform. Oh, of course. Did they're Jets- playing the Giants. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. He has. No- he has. He's going to have a brain aneurysm. <laughs> over the fact that he's going to have no clue who to actually put in for his defense. God, I told you I wanted him to trade me the Jets. Please trade me the Jets, yeah. Kevin. Come on. <laughs> you're hey, come on. Bigler will start him. I will start him this way. How could you bench them against the Giants? Yeah. Well, I, are they on bye I, now? No, no bye week problem. <laughs> no bye week blues. Tutu Atwell's on a fucking bye, isn't he? <laughs> 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 Look at that. Tutu train, Mimsy Jr. Still on that bench. Yeah, I take that back. <laughs> yeah, I know. They really, aside from the Jets, that is the worst bench in the league, even including Disco's bench. Um, and Kendrick Bourne is a guy that I cut. Yeah. That's how bad it is, Brian. He has oh, AIDS. Can, can He'll never do bench? well inside your lineup. Um, all that <laughs> said, I think I have to go with Kevin Bean. On I'd never pick Kevin Bean at this. No, how could I do really. it? How I could I, I pick him too? I'm taking wow. B. You've got he's gonna end up with at least 65 or 70 from Josh Allen by the time this game's over. You, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, it's I, that's what I'm saying. And Casey at Denver's not as tasty as Detroit, but Detroit yeah. kind of got but you never know what you're gonna get with them. Um KC looks pretty good. So yeah, unfortunately, yeah. we're all taking Bean. We are all taking being. I know. I, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think the NFL trade deadline is like this Tuesday. I want to say. I think you're right. But is it November Kevin's, first? Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. Halloween's on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Kevin Bean is holding on for dear life, praying that uh, Denver trades one of their wide receivers or two of their wide receivers, and Mims becomes number one. That's yeah, Jerry Judy is definitely there. in like trade talks. Yeah. Uh, I'm really yeah. hoping Dalvin Cook gets traded. Dalvin Cook. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, Dalvin. Do you have him? He picked him yeah. up. Yeah. Did you? Oh my, I'm sorry. No, nah, it's all right. We have AIDS, so it doesn't really matter. If <laughs> <laughs> he fits right in. <laughs> he sure does. He definitely did. He had AIDS on my team, that's for sure. No, oh, yeah. No. Anything it was awful. That disco touches his shoes turns to dog shit. <laughs> oh. It's rough. It's rough. Look, yeah, and, yeah. and like we've never looked at the standings so much on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we start with the standings, they're behind Brian. Yeah. And uh yeah. you know, let's have a look. Although we do we did want to check the uh let's check out the power rankings. Sure, the, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. This is always fun. Yeah, this is the this best. Is... Uh all right, current projections. Yeah, current here, projections. Here yeah. There you go. Uh the wizard is still projected for oh look at Yins or Jags. Oh, Brian, yeah, they're saying you're going to go me? three and four Fair, down the stretch. Disrespecting me? Good God. Oh, yeah. wow. AIDS is going to run the table, Brian. Oh, my goodness. Just <laughs> missed the playoffs. Oh, man. Seventh place, seventh place. Unbelievable. Seven. What are seven. they thinking? Of? That's even at – oh, man, that's weird. All right. And uh, what's what are the power rankings? Yeah, let's check out the power the, rankings. This is the most important stat in the league Force. right now. <laughs> and look who's number one. The most powerful team is AIDS. I love it, dude. <laughs> I love it. And that's the kind of year it's been. It's just, oh, I'm, I'm so powerful. Dude, I love the fact that you were in 12th place, but you were the number one power <laughs> ranking. That made my day. <laughs> and look at Dub C, 10th. Wow. Oh, gag. Now, Gags, you can see that. Okay, he, we he get that. We have 12th powerful. Yeah. yeah. Josh, 6th. I don't know about that. Hmm. Biscuits. Yeah, Maddie, you gotta like to be in the top three. You guys are both in the top five of the power Yahoo, and we know how accurate Yahoo is at all times. Yeah, absolutely, That's they true. know what they're talking about, you guys. I'm guaranteeing <laughs> to make the playoffs because of Yahoo. The draft day projections were. <laughs> Dude, I'm on target. You're not. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> 
They just didn't. They didn't see the AIDS. Look at look at that. that. Look at that. They got. Oh my guys. god. One of thirteen. Yeah. Wow. They hated yeah. gags from the beginning. <laughs> and they they've they always got, hated they gags. They swapped you and Detling. That's just Ooh. so awesome. Yeah. I'm that the most powerful. <laughs> I mean, and this is and so if I end up the most powerful at the end of the year, I should get a share of that trophy. You should. The, the those power, I'll share it with you. Oh man, that's that's beautiful. That just How come every time I look, look up, Tampa's there. on their own three yard line <laughs> all yeah, night long? Keep dude, pinning them down. Keep pinning them down. <laughs> so can, can I can I please just get a touchdown here? Can I How about a safety, a safety is worth a touchdown? Five, dude. Well, in a sack safety yeah, is sack six. Safety. Give me something here, man. Oh Give my god. <gasps> Did it happen? It should have been. Uh, what? Uh, tell me that uh you should have had a safety on that play actually Let's dude, I'm be, dude i'm behind you now somehow good yeah I'm, I'm never behind you oh no he slipped out of that and he did he he did throw it oh uh, wow baker shake and bake oh they should have dude by a red no I'm gonna, gonna, oh my goodness, i do not no, his knee had to have been down, dude. Nah, his knee just, was down. I'm just watching it. it. looked like his knee was down. <laughs> Anyways. The podcast but, is paused. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're watching some meaningless fourth quarter. Totally understand. Well, hey, it's like, to me when Mike Evans scores a touchdown or not. Was, oh, was, dude, uh, he barely got that off. Then. Mike Evans isn't doing shit. Can we yeah, look at the scores again? Sure, why not? Yeah, still with one point. Latavius Murray isn't doing shit. Why would you start Latavius Murray? What is your? Oh boy, he probably has bye week issues, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's, there's a lot. He's of got a lot of issues. Y'all are... <laughs> For the record, Dylan, you didn't watch Craig's um, recap, but Craig kept looking at everybody's lineup. He's like, "Well, doesn't look like they're having any bye week issues this week." And uh, he looked through every team pretty much, and no bye week issues. And guess what? <laughs> Nobody's on the bye. <laughs> 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 no teams on the bye this yeah. week so it was just really really fun watching craig not figure that out oh right. <laughs> i'll have to go back a while. i want to go back and watch yeah. i like the beginning it's, and dude, see my matchup in the craig, end craig is um in true craig form he's feeling himself in, in in this recap he's he's on his high horse like he's he's having a good time he's happy craig yeah he's talking about masturbating well, that's on true the... he ended with you wait until you see the ending wait until you what? see the ending yeah <laughs> Yeah. Wow. He tells you how he ends every Tuesday night. And I don't want to uh, give any spoilers. Here, I thought and he gave Listen, if this channel jumps off the way I think it does, dude, he'd been better off putting that in a newspaper because how many people are going to see that? Now they're going to know his Tuesday night beat off schedule. <laughs> Once Wait, we don't get bother like a million subscribers yeah. and they go back and watch our old shit. You know. <laughs> Craig beats off. Like I said, leave PM a comment, like, AM. share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let's see. Thumbs up. <laughs> <the video. laughs> All right. Any last comments? Any last thoughts? I got to get to bed. No, dude. Uh, I think I covered it pretty much at the beginning. It sucks being in the basement. It's really fucked up year. But it is good that I have the most power of all, any of you. <laughs> You're the most, powerful, the most powerful team in the league. Team. It's just a weird year. But uh, I don't know. We'd be eight and six if we ran the table. So let's see. Yeah, dude. If you run the table, you're in the playoffs. That would be yeah, just have to win seven in a row. Have. I mean, you won. <laughs> it. So you're about to win seven, yeah. dude. You're about to win seven in a row. Right. You can, follow, if I can do it, you can do it. Follow your lead, yeah, dude. Just do what I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go back and just like meticulously go over how you won each game and just make that happen for myself. <laughs> Put some montage music in the background. Yeah, it's so easy, dude. Like, fantasy is yeah. easy. Just play the guys that are so going to score touchdowns. What's so hard about that? So funny. <laughs> Dylan, any, Dylan, any final thoughts? Uh, not really. I guess just like no injuries. Um, I'm mad that I lost, but I'm okay with it. I want to win again. I want to beat Tree Sites. I want to make the playoffs. These aren't really thoughts. These are just rants. Yeah. Um, uh, you sound like every other player in the league, Manny. You just I want know. to win your match and make playoffs and win the championship. I want to <laughs> fuck somebody up, man. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get to the championship versus Craig. I want to fuck him up that's real good. bad. That's good. All that's right. a good final thought. 
Yeah, and then if I, I also want to get again, I also want to play Bean in the playoffs. I want to fuck him up real bad. I want to text throughout the whole game as I blow his fucking team in the water. And then I also want. I to, wish you'd have gone another route with that. Wait, I wish I would have blown his. Did you right say blow his team in the water? His out of the water. Right blow off. Off. Out of the water. Oh, no, you said blow him. You want to suck his dick off? Is what I, I heard. Off and of his I want to put stuff. Dude, I want to burn my talk. team's logo into his yard. Uh, <laughs> I think you want to suck his golf ball through a garden hose, dude. Wow. Yeah. I think that's what he. That, that's what he does after every podcast. Mm-hmm. Well, what can I say? Matt's gay for football. There you go. There you go. Are you? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. Ball, man. That's it. Are you ready, boys? Because that's we're not going to get any better than that. I'm always no. ready, Brian. I'm never yeah. ready anymore, Brian. I know you're not, Delling. <laughs> Oh hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. We're on week we're on week eight, and nobody has made any comments about uh Bigler's LGBTQT uh Red Bull lineup behind him. Oh what? Oh I don't know your LGBTQT Red Bull lineup. Oh That's yeah, the, it's the rainbow speak? cans of Red Bull. That's so funny. Where I never they? I did not notice that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. Well now oh, Hey. Way to show support through the LGBTQT. Uh, I told you, dude. Red Bull. We came out of the closet. We're not afraid anymore to be ourselves, yeah. and that's mm-hmm. that. Yeah, we're gonna be doing gay rankings soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it's a thing. We're gonna we're gonna rank based on physical appearance uh, sometime well, soon. Well, we already know Bigler had an intense conversation with his his daughter about the top five men that I think both of you guys would fuck if I believe I'm right. What? Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> Wait, I talked to my daughter about what? You and I was visiting, and you and Lily were in an intense conversation about who your top five were, and Robert Downey Jr. and I think you had a intense hatred or disagreement about Ryan Reynolds or something with her, whoever it was. But you guys definitely unanimously unanimously agreed on Robert Downey Jr. being sexy as fuck. Oh yeah, he's in my top five for sure. Yeah, that's but it yeah, was like you guys were talking in there. I think. By the time you got there. George Clooney. Um, all right. Yeah. All right. All right <laughs> We're yeah. almost out of this podcast. I'm not going down this rabbit hole. <laughs> all right, man. All right. All right, all right Brian. Good it's luck. Been great. It's been a great week. I'll see you guys back here on 7 and 1. All right. Yeah. Later. All right. Later. <laughs> no, you hang up. No, you hang up. Oh, I can't leave the meeting. Brian, help. <laughs>